This is pretty amazing. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? Today, I want to show you free pick video generation, which allows you to use a whole range of different video models. Now, the reason why this is important is because video models become more hardware hungry. So often you can't even use it locally. And also they become license limited. For example, the pro models you can't often not download. You can only use it on paid services, but also all of that is becoming way more complex. So here's a page that renders fast and it is very easy to use and has some pretty amazing functions. Let's check that out. One thing that is important for video generation is actually image generation. Now, why is that? Well, the reason for that is you can use the image, of course, as an input for the video. But of course, the image generation uses less resources, less time and also for you less credits, which means you can prepare a scene before you start rendering the video. By that you save time, you save money and everything becomes more fluent. But here is something that is really important when it comes to free pick. Free pick is a stock page. So as you can see here, we have a beautiful image of a perfume ad. But what stands out here is that we have a lot of space on the left side. Now, this is not an image extension. This is how I prompted it and the image was generated like that. Now, the empty space is important if you want to use the image for an ad because you have to have some space for the advertisement text, for the slogan, for the logos and so on. So this is often what you find with stock images. Here's another example of the same thing with a different colors theme. Now, you might think, well, what's about special with the color theme? Well, FreePick allows you to choose colors. That is one of the amazing things. But let me show all of the features that they have here. So first of all, they have a big choice of different models. You can choose the Mystic model. This is actually the model from Magnific, which is the best upscaling tool online. It's kind of pricey, but it's also included inside of free pick and mystic is their image generation model, which is very highly sophisticated for realistic images. And we have seen an example of that just a second ago. You also have ideogram. You also have Google imagine three, you have flux, and then you down here also have classic models that you can choose from if you wanted to. On top of that, you can choose here from many different styles that have been prepared for you. These are basically Loras. You also have some effects here that have to do, as you can see here, dramatic golden hour, long exposure, things like that. Something that might be more interesting to you is characters. Now they have some pretty fine characters you can play around with, but as you can see with this beautiful guy up here, you can also train your own characters, which of course gives you a lot of character consistency in these images. You can also use pre-created objects here or train your own objects, which is very useful, especially if you create images for customers, but also if you have art or film projects where you want to have specific objects in that image. And now we come to the color palette. This I think is pretty unique to free pick and it's very useful. It works really well. And as you can see here, we have a lot of predefined color palettes from different genres like cold, neon, pastel, vibrant and warm. But also you can add your own color palettes here made up of four different colors if you want to, which of course helps you if you want to create something in your own style or for specific brands who have their specific colors. Now that you have chosen all of that, you can see that here I have created a very beautiful image with the majestic model of a monkey in the jungle playing a ukulele. And you can see I've also used the color scheme. And so this gave me these amazing combinations of green and orange colors, giving me this kind of golden hour sunset situation. 
But to show you that this also works with another combination of colors, here I have chosen a palette of red, pink, blue and yellow. And you can see that this is mixed with the jungle colors so that we have a very nice color scheme that is a little bit more fancy, a little bit more tropical and dreamy. And you can really imagine this being in a very nice advertisement. When you click on an image you have generated, you not only see the preview of the image larger, you also see on the right side a lot of different options you can use to go on with that image. You can retry the prompt, use it as a style reference, you can create a video. This is what we want to do. You can create a mock-up. Now this is really interesting because you can create here anything like a logo or an image or a sticker or whatever you want and then use it on a mock-up like a TV screen or a shirt or any kind of thing you can up with. For example, a coffee mug. So you can also show that to your customers as a product mock-up. And of course you can also edit the image which includes upscaling of that image or video. Now when we click on create video, this will load the image automatically for you over here on the left side and then automatically create a prompt for you based on that image. Now you want to read through that. You can use a lot of that. Often I would adjust that because in this case, for example, it says a steady close up shot begins with a focus on the monkey playing a ukulele, showcasing its joyful expression and the details of the instruments. The camera then slowly dolly moves backwards. You might not want to have that dolly backward move. So you might want to edit that a little bit. But what you can also do is, for example, you can say monkey playing a ukulele. So let's go like this and delete all of that. And now I can click here on enhance prompt with AI. So when we click on that, this will create a new prompt for us with the help of AI. And as you can see now, we have a pretty long prompt that is very detailed. You can again read through that, rewrite that in any way you want until it fits your purposes. But before we do that, here we also want to look at the different video models. As I told you, there's a lot of choice of different video models. For example, you can use Google VO2, which is pretty amazing. You can use Kling 1.6 Elements, Kling 1.6 Pro, and then also Minimax Reference, Minimax Director. You have Runway Chan 3, Huiyan version 2 Pro version. And below that you have even more models in the experimental modes like Minimax Live Illustration, Pixverse 3.5, Minimax Kling 1.6 Standard, Kling 1.0 Standard, Huiyan version 2, Luma Dream Machine and Luma Ray 2. Now all of these have different upsides and downsides of where you want to use them. For example, I find that Google VO2 is very good for text to video. Not so much personally, I find for image to video, but text to video, it creates really stunning scenes. Personally, I find that the Kling models are best for image to video and give very nice animations and also characters and scenes or camera movements. If you only have a camera movement, for example, a drone flying into a landscape or a camera moving into a room, I feel like the Runway Chen 3 model is very good for that. Minimax Director also gives you camera controls so that you can create a scene and act a little bit like a director. So also that can be very useful. It's also important to notice that choosing different models will give you different abilities for the settings over here. And you can see it a little bit under the video models. For example, Google VO2 only allows for a start image, while Kling 1.6 Pro allows for a start and an end frame. Huiyan version 2 Pro, on the other hand, has multiple scenes, 
which means you don't have an image input, but you can prompt out different scenes. You also get a certain approximation of the render times, and you can see that they are often pretty fast. For example, Google VO2, only 2.5 minutes. Now here you can see a clip that I have generated with Google VO2, and this clip is only based on text. And the result is pretty amazing. We have here an Arctic Explorer flying through the icebergs and it looks really amazing, super realistic. Now one thing that is missing here is the sound for that video. But luckily for us, here on the right side, you can see we have apply sound effects, which right now is in beta. And we also have add lip sync, which is experimental at the moment. So here you can click. This will bring you to the edit window. And on top, you can see here that you can describe what you want to have. In this case, you can use a pretty short prompt. And I want to have some wind here for that scene. So let's listen to an example of that wind playing out. That's already okay, but I want to have something that's a bit more interesting. So here I have a scene of a raccoon playing a saxophone. And that in itself already looks pretty cool. You can see that he's moving his fingers. The people are walking in the background, beautiful bokeh. Everything is in there as we need it. So here's the version with the added sound. Let's listen to that again. <laughs> And I feel like the amazing part here is that the sound is actually kind of syncing up to the finger movement again. Let's try the same thing with the monkey playing the ukulele. And again, it's very stunning that the sound is synced to the movement of the hands of our monkey. You can, of course, do a lot more with this, like, for example, this first person perspective of a caveman getting up and walking out of his cave. And that, again, is really, really amazing. And here I created a short video scene from a guy that I also created with the mystic model inside of FreePick. A lot of these video types, like I showed you with the animals playing musical instruments, are stuff that is really going viral on the internet. And it's already content of the future. Also, the guy flying through the Arctic icebergs is something that is stunning. It's really interesting for people. And also, it is something we've never seen before. And FreePick helps you with making all of that really easy for you with that super easy interface and without needing any of that hardware. So that's it for today for showing you how to get the most out of FreePick. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and see you soon. Bye.